My next guest can be seen this weekend at the Boston Comedy Club and Caroline's here in New York City. Please welcome a very funny guy, Russ Maniv. Okay, very excited to be here. I just uh, got a brand new cell phone today, which is exciting. But I refuse to get that little earpiece that comes with the phone. You can't tell who's insane anymore, am I right? <laughs> I'm walking down the street. Some guy is looking right at me. He's like, hey, I worked all day. You pick up the kids. <laughs> you heard me do it. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> but I never loved you. <laughs> I think the phone's annoying in general. I called the wrong number. Actually, my friend had moved, you know? And I get that recording. It's like, doo doo doo, the number you have reached. Why can't they just give you the number? Do they have to blow your ear out like that with those tones? <laughs> Imagine going up to the wrong door. You're like, hi, is Tommy home? Tommy, where's my trumpet? Hold on a minute. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Now, Tommy moved, man. He lives down the street. Thanks a lot, you bastard. <laughs> so the sharks are getting uppity, huh, people? A lot, of a lot of shark attacks, but now even worse, these shark experts are going on television now. There was a guy in the news two weeks ago. He said there were 79 unprovoked shark attacks last year. Nobody has a problem with that statement at all? <laughs> unprovoked people? Do we need that word in there? Are there people provoking shark attacks? <laughs> Is there some loser from Jersey in the water? Hey, shark, you freaking looking at me. <laughs> you got a problem or something? I got something for you to bite right here. Stop circling me. Face me, you wuss. Stop. <laughs> Speaking of which, I almost had a fight today. I caught my girlfriend cheating on me, right? Russian girl. I don't know if anybody's ever had the pleasure of going out with a foreigner before, but they're always touting, they're always touting how much better their country is. Meanwhile, they're living here. How annoying is that, right? <laughs> She's like, you know, Russia's better because you Americans are blah, blah, blah. And Russia's dead, dead, dead. Yeah, why don't you go back to Russia where you have to pee on each other for heat? Why don't you do that, all right? <laughs> yeah. Do I have to sit you down to watch Rocky IV again to show you the superior races? <laughs> uh. So now I'm dating, it's not so easy. I went out with a girl my friend set me up with. She was a clown for kids' parties. Could you imagine this? <laughs> and she was also into rough sex, which I found out was the worst combination because I thought it was really getting rough down there. I looked down. My penis was twisted into a giraffe. <laughs> You know what's worse? She was also a mime, and she couldn't just go down. She had to go down like this. This is a big turn up. <laughs> Not that I'm the best lover. I'm kind of premature in the bedroom, which I know is a turn off if the guy's too fast, but if you're single, it really cuts down on the phone sex costs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi, this is 1-900-CHICKS. This is Kathy, and I've been naughty. What do you want? All set, Kathy. Thank you very much. <laughs> But I think if you'll eventually meet the right person if you just keep approaching people. You know, I, I go up to one girl, it's so nerve-wracking, and I was really stuttering a lot, and you really realize how much stuttering is about fear. There's a guy named Mel Tillis, and there's a lot of singers like this. He's a stutterer and a singer, and he doesn't stutter when he sings. That must be weird during an emergency, right? Emergency 911, m -m 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 <laughs> screw it. My house is on fire, 140 bro. Hey, speaking of 911, could they pick two numbers further apart on the keypad, everybody? It's <laughs> an emergency, right? What if a tree falls through your living rooms on your legs and you can only reach the nine? Imagine that. <laughs> like, oh, God. Oh, oh, nine. Oh, five, five. Ugh. <clears throat> yeah. You know, in England, it's 999. And I hate to admit the English do anything smarter than us because they're so arrogant, right? But you know, they're not that smart. If you look back to the Revolutionary War, they could think of the gun, but they couldn't think of camouflage. Isn't that something? Here, Bob, take this gun. You can kill a man from 200 yards away. But first, before you go in, put this three-foot hat on, blaring red coat, and white knickers. And beat this drum on your way into the forest. That's all my time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good job. Very nice job. Rock me, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.